We're going to get started. I want to welcome everyone to Who Wants to Be a Cloud Geek? My name is Brian. I'm going to be a co-host for this evening's... All right. Contestant number one hails from Amish country and is most widely known for bringing the internet to the Amish people. When not working at Dell, our first contestant can be found evangelizing the culinary delights of Philadelphia. In fact, he insists there's more to the local food scene there than cheese steaks and cream cheese. Please welcome Rick Nucci. Our second contestant led it for four years in high school on the speech team. Our, our second contestant has also completed an Ironman competition. And I'm told that during a recent IBM event in Vegas, this contestant was caught sneaking out to visit a really cool data center. Please welcome Amy Anderson. <laughs> contestant number three is a graduate of UCLA. Hobbies include making balloons into animal shapes and collecting street signs. So I suppose if you live in the Maryland Beltway and you've noticed that your street sign is missing, it may not be a bad idea to visit this contestant at, at home. Please welcome Jake Fox. Perfect. Yeah. And now, it's my pleasure to introduce our hostess with the mostess, Fresh off her new hit single, We Found Love. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong Rihanna. <laughs> Though I do understand there's a strong chance you'll find this one later on tonight on top of a piano in the Dooley Piano Bar. Please give a warm welcome to Rihanna Collier. <laughs> welcome to Who Wants to Be a Cloud Geek? And if you don't know the gentleman on the microphone in the audience, that's Brian Rosen Rosenberg, our um, geek professional. He also used to own a chicken coop and did a semester at sea. Um, so the rules for today, they're fun. We've got three great contestants. There are four lifelines for each contestant. They can poll the audience twice. Each of you have a polling device at your seat. Please only pick it up and use it when I cue you to use it. <laughs> Press it once, put it back down. Um, <laughs> they also have two other lifelines, and one is Ask Brian, who again is our resident tech geek, and Ask a colleague, which they've identified here in the audience, and Brian will be uh, roaming around to help us out with that. So with that, we are going to get started. Let's find out who's going to be our cloud geek. So, question number one, and I should say these guys have buzzers. <laughs> Not yet, Amy. <laughs> All right, so the idea is that they buzz in as, as fast as they can. Question one, what famous icon is the Twitter logo named after? A, Larry Bird, B, Big Bird, C, Birdie, character from the Capcom Game Street Fighter, or D, Tweety Bird? Rick. I already buzzed. Hmm? This is getting ugly. I already buzzed. You didn't know. <laughs> I cleared that. You have All to wait. Right. <laughs> we have a Rick. light. We can actually see who buzzed first. So Rick, you. what's your answer? C, Birdie. That would be false. So Rick, you must drink. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. The correct answer was Larry Bird. Oh. Another Boston boy. Oh, I should mention that these guys decided to turn this into a drinking game. So if they get it wrong, they have to drink. If they get it right, the other two have to drink. And that was all their decision. No, no, no. <laughs> next up, which of our four next gen companies is based out of Vancouver? Oh, we. What? Uh, Jake. The resumator. That would be false. You may drink. <laughs> The correct answer is indice. All right. Who was Time Magazine's Man of the Year in, in 1982? Amy. B. B, the personal computer. You are correct. The gentleman should drink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
You're right. We should have done tequila shots, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. All right. Who used the term cloud computing in an August 2006 speech just weeks before Amazon's EC2 unveiling? Jake. Bart Simpson. <laughs> you may drink. <laughs> correct answer was Google's Eric Schmidt. According to Gardner's predictions, what percentage of companies ex expect to pursue private cloud by 2012? Oh, hands off, hands off, hands off. Up, oh, I'm clearing. One, two, three. Rick. Hey, 25%. Again, that would be false. <laughs> you may drink. Excuse um, me, excuse me. Excuse, excuse me, do me. you know you have lifelines? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> lifelines. Sounds like you really need lifelines. There is an audience full of knowledge here, guys. <laughs> the correct answer there is 75. They're 75. just trying to drink. <laughs> I'm trying to play. They're trying to drink. Because <laughs> I'm the geek. <laughs> In 2007, what company tried to trademark the word oh. cla ah, cloud <laughs> computing? <laughs> Lifeline. Brian? <laughs> Brian Rosenberg. Um, it's interesting. I think the, well, it has to be either Dell or IBM because they're our two sponsors. <laughs> so, uh, who do I give more? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. But you know what? I think D comes before I in the alphabet, and so therefore I'm going to have to go with Dell. Is that your final answer, Jake? No, it's C, Microsoft. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's your answer? Microsoft. You should have gone with our resident tech geek <laughs> because <they're> it's Dell. <laughs> you all That's need to drink funny. for that one. <laughs> I need another beer. Okay. <laughs> Beer delivered. You need to clear yep. us. Yep. Thanks. Yeah. I need somebody to come clear this light for yep. me. Yes, I forget. <laughs> All right. In a study by Microsoft and IDC, by 2015, how many jobs worldwide will cloud computing technologies be responsible for creating? Uh, Miss Amy. Yeah. So Audience. Yeah. All right. Uh, again, Katie, you want to switch? One second. Everybody, get out your. Use your keypad to select A, B, C, or D. Oh, 14 million. That's okay. Sorry. Put polling down. Katie. The audience says C. Why is B green? Tick tock, tick tock. I'm just saying, as a geek, I'd like to know. But uh, no, I'm going to go with C, 23 million. Yeah, you should have gone with the green. <laughs> Drink. Okay, I, I, I got that one. Oh, wait, I'm not clear. So I got that one. I'm two for two now. I'm not sure we're going to get a cloud geek out of this game show after all. <laughs> well, we got some pretty good drinkers. Yeah, you need a couple of drunk people. Uh, Turns out I am the cloud geek. Okay. By so far, Brian is winning. I got two. <laughs> That's scary. Um, by 2015, what percent of consumer devices will incorporate cloud computing? Uh, Mr. Nucci. C, 90%. You are correct. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. Wow. All right. How many gigabytes? Oh, you got to clear us. Oh, sorry. I'm not very good at that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> How many gigabytes of data did mankind create in 2011? Audience? All right, one second. Wait for the screen to change. This is your last audience lifeline, Amy. The correct answer will be green. <laughs> <laughs> All right, polling devices down. <laughs> I'm going with D, 1.2 trillion. You're going to have to wait till we come back from commercial. Oh! <laughs> now a word from our uh, members. Have you
you ever wondered how an industry association can help you grow your business? Hi, I'm Mark Cunningham. I'm from Indice. You know, you really should join the SIIA because they're a very cool organization. They have very cool people working for them. And they're just great for the industry. So join today. It's a great community of people interested in the direction of the cloud and the software industry. And it's an opportunity for me to apply everything I learned directly to the growth of my own business. Hey everybody, it's Mike Regal, and I've got to tell you, there are three great reasons you need to join the SIA. Number one, it's all about thought leadership. By joining the group, you're going to be able to participate in some of the best thought leadership around cloud and SaaS and mobility and all the hot trends that are out there. Second reason you need to join, networking. Hundreds of companies at our events, over a hundred of the leading SaaS companies in the industry are all part of our association. Gives you a great opportunity to work with them all around the United States. And most importantly, what's the third reason you should join? Because it's going to help you grow your business. By collaborating with other members, you're going to find new business opportunities, new partnerships, and great new ways that you can grow your business, and all that because you're joining as a member. So come on in and join. We hope you enjoy the benefits of being a member. We're headquartered in the Midwest, far away from the high-tech corridors on both coasts. But our SIA membership gives us exposure to the broader industry uh, where we can share and learn best practices to constantly improve our business. The value of an SIA membership to Accenture really revolves around three things. First, exposure to a number of next generation of incoming software companies. Secondly, the opportunity to share our own thought leadership and points of view on what's happening in the software industry and to learn from others. And finally, the ability to shape and participate in a number of terrific conferences like All About Mobile and All About the Cloud. We belong to the SIAA because of the opportunities it gives us to communicate and collaborate with uh, other professionals in the software industry. Networking at SIA sponsored events has provided greater exposure within the business community and really offers our team an earlier glance at innovative trends. Uh, these initiatives, as well as others, have helped foster collaboration with our peers and really projects our firm as thought leaders within the industry. Simply put, being a member of SIA has helped build credibility with our business partners, existing and prospective clients. We're big fans of the SIA um, at Informatica. We've, we've really taken advantage of the networking opportunities. It's, uh, the events are fantastic and, of course, the people, uh, we love them. Keep it up. It is a great forum for us. It's a great way to connect with companies that are in the same space. So what are you waiting for? Join up. SIIA, where contacts are made, partnerships are formed, and deals get done. Become a member of SIIA. Join and be a member. Join now. Be a member. Join now. Be a member. Be a member. Join now. Become an SIIA member. Be a member. Join now. Be a member. SIIA. Membership has its privileges. We're in, are you? Thank you for that commercial break. Now we're back to your answer was? Uh, I think. I, I forgot. No. It was D. 1.2 trillion. You are correct, Amy, and it, you take the lead. So right now we have two points for Amy, one point for Rick, Jake, zero. Ooh, that was my goal. Yeah, he's trying to lose. Come on, they need your help. All right, which All About the Cloud sponsor started its company in a Maryland base? Uh, I'm going to call a colleague on this one. All right. Oh, I, I think we're looking for a Shlomo. Where are you? Shlomo, where are you? Oh. If I get this wrong, can I drink? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Shots, though. Shots. Uh, I, cannot, I can't get this wrong. C. You're correct. If you got it wrong, what? you might be in trouble it's back not, at the not, homeland. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Which All About the Cloud sponsor's tagline is pa sorry, passion for building stronger business? Uh, Amy. I'm going to go with my lifeline. Which one, your colleague or Brian? Yeah, my colleague. <laughs> <laughs> um, which colleague? And which colleague? Which colleague? Ron Wastel. Like? I believe Who's it's Ron Wastel. Is he in the room? 
Here he is. Hold on. I'm coming to find uh -oh. one. He didn't raise his hand quick, Amy. That's not a good sign. Here we go. Yeah. Can I have the question again, please? <laughs> <laughs> what, which All About the Cloud sponsor's tagline is passion for building stronger business? No idea. I'm drinking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with I'm A, drinking. core source. <laughs> You're going <okay>, yeah. <laughs> to You would be wrong. Oh. The answer is B, cognizant. cognizant. You should have called on me. It was a sponsor-related question. But <laughs> Sorry, my friends at Cognizant. That's just what I do for a living. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, in 1914, oh, Thomas, oh, Thomas J. Watson renamed the computing... Uh. <laughs> I won't even finish the question. I don't think I need a lifeline on this one. Uh, I'm, I'm going with A, international business machines. You would be absolutely in... No, kidding, you're correct. <laughs> All right, fellas, Amy's got three. Uh-oh. And I have to say, when we were in rehearsal earlier, Amy couldn't get the buzzer I to go. Get the buzzer. So I tricked him. All right. Of the following, who uh, is uh, Lifeline. Which Lifeline, Jake? You have you only have your polling the audience. So, audience, pick up your polling devices. Wait for the screen to change. Make your selection. Polling devices down. There's no green. Yeah, there's no green this time. What are you gonna do? I don't. I. I. I, I don't know. The colors are changing. <laughs> uh, B. B. Mark Zuckerberg. That would be incorrect. The answer is his co-founder Dustin Mukovitz, uh, who is three months younger than. Mark. Oh, come on oh. now. That's a cheap That's trick right. question. Oh. That's a trick question. All right. By the end of 2011, how many data centers were there? I'm going to call my friend. <laughs> Wait, which friend is that? Is, um, um, is that Brian or? My imaginary friend. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Who's James it? Decker. James Decker. Right there. He'll and, know. And by the He'll way, no, no looking it up go. on your cell phones, anything like that, no cheating. Too late. The answer, Dickie, is B. Is that your final answer? Yes, it is. B. You are correct. <gasps> yes. Wow. My man. The lifeline worked. Rick's catching up on Amy. We got three for Amy, two for Rick. Still none for Jake. Oh, no, one. Oh, I'm Jake sorry. Had one. Had one. Sorry. Sorry, Jake, making it look worse. Oh, we need to clear our. If Twitter's projected ad know. revenue in 2012 is 259 million, what is Twitter's uh, projected? C. 670 million is your final answer? Yep. That would be incorrect. The answer is B, 540 million. They have a problem. Jake, do you need another drink? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. In the first season of the Big Bang Theory TV show, which uh, character? <laughs> Amy. Brian? <laughs> it was, oh shit, I actually get the names of the two leads mixed up, but it was the skinny one who's got like the Asperger's type syndrome. So I think that's Sheldon. So I'm going to say Sheldon. Since I don't watch the show, I'm going to believe you and go with A, Sheldon. Sheldon is correct, Amy. <laughs> Amy takes the lead with four. Rick's got two. Jake's got one. <laughs> Right. The theme song for the Bing Bang Theory TV show is the history of everything. <laughs> Who sings it? It is C, the fray. You should have asked for Brian. You should have asked for Brian, Rick. <laughs> is this is your favorite saying. show or something? Answers B, Bare Naked Ladies. Rick, oh. please Oh, my drink. God, everyone knows that, Rick. <laughs> and just to point out, Amy, you are out of lifelines. Jake, you have one polling audience left. Rick, 
you have you have asked Brian and pulled the audience left. You already left. That's the last question I'm going to know the answer to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, in the Big Bang Theory TV show, Penny claims to be a screenwriter, but she's currently... Uh, I'll pull the audience. She's currently working as a waitress. Where does she work? Audience, wait for the screen to change. Please make your selection. And polling devices down. The audience... Oh, I'm not... The audience I picks B. I the audience ain't so clever, but go on. All right, B. B, the Cheesecake Factory. That's correct. Jake, you, <laughs> <laughs> you, you're tied with Rick Thanks. now. All right. What percentage of emails are spam? Uh, <clears throat> Jake, C, you're out of lifelines, by C, the way. C, 72%. C, 72%. Final answer? Yep. That would be incorrect. Please drink. <laughs> He's on to this game. The answer was yeah. D, 89%. Wow. Oh, yeah. no way. I know, kind of scary, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's high. What, yeah, that must count like email. What percentage of software projects are one-man projects? Rick Nucci. D, 75%. D, 75%? Are you sure that's your final answer? <laughs> sure. No help. You'd be wrong. What? Oh. C, 50%. Who wrote these? <laughs> Our intern. <laughs> the overachieving intern wrote the questions. Yeah. What percentage of Microsoft's 2011 R&D budget was spent on cloud computing strategy and product? Uh, Ms. Anderson. Uh, uh, B, 65%. Final answer? Yes. That'd be incorrect. It'd be D, 90%. Oh, that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> They're making that up. <laughs> Oops. Ah. That was the beer talking. All right. <laughs> All right. A nibble is how many? D. <laughs> Jake, Jake, Jake. The answer would be A. Oh. Not a hardware guy, are you? Well, I was thinking no. about <laughs> I was thinking about you know cookies and nibbling on a. No. Uh, <laughs> we're not in cookies. If we were, Brian would be an expert at that because he is the cookie expert in the building. I thought this was one of his questions. <laughs> per the SIA 2012 marketing survey, in what area will we see the greatest increase in marketing spend? <laughs> uh, poll the audience. All right, audience, polling devices. Wait for the screen to change. Make your selections. Polling devices down. The D. audience seems to think it's D. I'm, 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 I'm in agreement. You're going to go with D? Yes. Come on. It's D. <laughs> Social media. Rick gets a point. We are at four points for Amy, three for Rick, and uh -oh. two for Jake. Pressure's on. We have only one. Have you asked Brian yet, Rick? No. OK, so Rick is, has two lifelines left. Everybody else is down to none. It's all down. Hey. I haven't even gotten her. <laughs> Katie, wait for me. <laughs> Amy, what was your answer? That was me. No, it was oh, me. sorry, Jake. It's Jake. D. Answers D. Let me let me just read the question. What was the top story on Twitter in January 2012? Apple child labor law. That would be incorrect. The answer is A. Anonymous takedown of government websites. The Apple thing happened later. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. That's true. I have no idea. All right. Who was the Stanford sorry professor? That was one of the first to suggest a timeshare service bureau uh, computing model. Rick. Excuse me? You got two ask lifelines the, ask, left. Uh, ask the audience again. You're saving your Brian one for something special? The, the, the big okay. one. All right. Audience, when the screen changes, please pick up your polling devices. Make your selections. 
pulling devices down. Mm. Well, that's that's very clear. I want to make sure everybody votes. That? It's a privilege. Please take a look. <laughs> what do I do with that? This is gonna be good. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with B. With B. My answer. Yes, I am. Really? I'd like to actually know Brian. 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 Yes. Brian, yes, where are you? yes, yes, what, yes. What, what do you think the answer is? Uh, Rick thinks he's going to go with B. That's what the audience suggested. But well, it's funny because I went to Stanford. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I dropped out to start my own internet business. You mean you went and visited the campus? <laughs> <laughs> I had a really good friend who had a cousin who went there. <laughs> and I, I'm going to say it's definitely, definitely D. John McCarthy. But, but the audience says B. And yeah, but the audience was wrong with the Big Bang Theory question as well. So, you know, what do they know? Half these people are too young to know what a service bureau is. Well, <laughs> Rick. Including Rick. You know what? You should have went with Brian, and you should have used Brian. <laughs> the answer is D, John McCarthy. <laughs> I, didn't I tell you from the beginning he's our resident tech geek? But clearly. Clearly. Drink that beer. When in doubt, go with Brian. <laughs> <laughs> don't take that advice. <laughs> and don't tell your kids about that. Um, in 2009, what organization awarded approximately $5 million in grants for researching uh, cloud computing? Amy. I am going to go with C, the NSA. I, OK, first tell me why you didn't pick SIA. Because I don't think you have five million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Membership fees are not that high. <laughs> okay, that's a good guess. Um, the answer is C. You got it correct. I really need to do we got a minute and a half left. Let's see if the guys can make their comeback. Rick, you've got one lifeline left, and it is. Brian. Brian. The big dog. Yeah. Okay. Don't you let me down. What country, oh, what country were the four students um, from that created the world's first graphical browser or web uh. in 1991? Rick Nucci. Dazzle me. <laughs> uh, well, it's really funny that you asked me this question because I went to college with a guy named Browser and I grew up with this Irwise guy, so <laughs> I'm going to say Finland. <laughs> Really? Are you sure? <laughs> 1991, huh? All right, I'm going to say Finland. Have you not learned? <laughs> Have you not learned? <laughs> Finland is correct. Yeah, man. All right, so I just have to make it very clear that I really do not know the answers. I have not looked. I am now playing the lottery, so no. I'm going to go. <laughs> we didn't share them with him. So we are at Amy with five, Rick with four, Jake yes. at two. In 1976, how much money did Ronald Wayne, one of the original uh. co-founders of Apple, sell his 10% stake for? B, $2,300. Amy, you are rocking it. That's correct. <laughs> she clinched it. <laughs> yeah, we have one. That's it. Wow. Two more questions. Uh oh. oh. <laughs> and Rick needs both of them to tie with Amy and go into sudden death. Wow. In which year did Apple drop computer from its name? Ooh. I don't know. D. Jake. <laughs> The correct answer is B, 2007. <laughs> and finally, what year did Apple report their first quarterly loss? D, 1987. Is that a guess? It's an affirmative statement. <laughs> <laughs> You would be incorrect. <laughs> the answer is C, 1985. Let's give a hand to our contestants. Nicely done, Amy. First of all, Congratulations. in third place was Jake. So he gets the chicken. 
Yay. Nice. In second place, we have Rick Nucci with the nose and glasses. Oh, I have to wear this. That he'll be sporting tonight at Mezzanine. Oh, you know it. And for our resident cloud geek, we do have a trophy. Oh, oh. It's, very, it's very special. But more so, we have, let's, let's get her nice and ready, OK? Oh. Because she's got oh, yeah. her, her fun thing here, her hat here, Glad I didn't win. and the full attire. <laughs> Thanks everybody for so wait, I just want to remind like thank you all. I want to remind everyone at 6:30, mezzanine, go out the doors and you'll just follow the human arrows to the club. It's always a blast. Del Boomi hosts it. It is one of the year's best networking events. If you don't go, you'll miss out on all the water cooler talk wow. tomorrow. So And also bring you your badges. Go. Bring your badges uh, for security purpose to get That's right. And for event. those of you who don't look like you're 25 or uh, 21, bring your IDs too, just in case. <laughs> in case the stage is what, 21? Well done. This microphone off. Oh. Dude, you hooked me up. I'm very impressive.